In this video, we're going to see how to install Osprey Mobile 11.7.100. One note, normally Osprey Point of Sale and Osprey Mobile would not coexist on the same machine. However, in this case, for demonstration purposes, as well as for subsequent videos, they're going to. The only consideration in this case is, well, there's two. The first is that the host file is already updated, so we won't need to do that. And the second one is that the 32-bit web client is already installed, so the installer will skip over that. I will point this out during the installation. So in this case, my first step is to go ahead and run the mobile. If I was on a machine where I did not have a point of sale installed, I would need to go edit my host file. For more information on that, you can view the Osprey Point of Sale Web Client Back Office installation video where I demonstrate one method of doing so. So I'm going to right click on this and choose to run as administrator. That's going to bring up our splash screen for the installer. Okay, now it's ready to go, so I'm going to click Next. I'm going to read and accept the license agreement and click Next. Next I'm going to enter a register number. In this case I'm going to use 2. I'm going to click Next. And then I'm going to click Install. This is going to go ahead and start copying files which include things such as our assemblies, um, miscellaneous files that we need such as third-party integrations, the web client installation from Progress, as well as the actual mobile installation code because just like prior versions of Osprey we do the initial installation locally instead of across the wire and then in subsequent updates we can simply update the server and then updates will push out for the back office web client the point of sale app and the mobile app when they attempt to connect. Um, the mobile app does have the same facility as the point of sale app as of 11.7 wherein if you cannot connect to the um, server to pull down any potential updates it will still give you the option to run offline. This is not meant as a long-term solution as obviously any updates won't get pushed down but more of a short-term solution in case there's a network issue or in the case of mobile you're taken out of range etc. Okay, once that's finished, it's going to install the Lotto font, which is the font that the mobile app uses, going back to the 11.4 series. Now it's going to install the OPAS common controls. The common controls are also distributed in the OPAS folder inside the Osprey mobile folder in case you need to rerun them later, perhaps after installing manufacturers OPAS. Now we're going to load Microsoft POS for .NET. Now we're going to load the DSI PDCX client as well as the DSI EMV US client for credit authorization. As with prior versions, Osprey Mobile is out of scope. Now since the web client is already loaded from my point of sale installation, you'll notice you do not see it install that. So it's immediately moved to the Osprey Mobile installation. If you were doing a normal install where point of sale was not loaded, you would have saw the web client installation come up, it would have ran, and then we would get to this point. Since we are at this point, I'm going to click Yes and let Osprey Mobile be installed. It's going to create the shortcut. Not one, but two, just like point of sale. We can click Finish on the installation and let it go ahead and do some last minute configuration. Now as with point of sale we have two apps. We have the actual Osprey Mobile app and then we have an Osprey Mobile Sync. The Osprey Mobile Sync works the same as the Osprey point of sale sync and that it syncs information from the server's database to the Osprey Mobile SQLite databases. Just as before the system is ready to use once we reboot so I'm going to go ahead and pause this video while we, re while we reboot. <coughs> Okay, just like point of sale on my initial install, I'm going to want to go ahead and load the sync program. Um, this is to bring down the database tables that we need from the server into the local SQLite databases. So I'm going to go ahead and run this as the administrator. Just like POS, after the initial setup like this, going forward, you can either have the sync program start in the startup folder of a user that's going to be logged on, or if it's not running, the mobile app will attempt to start it.
Once it starts up, you will see a database icon down here in the system tray. As you can see, we now have the database icon and the sync arrows are on there and they will stay on there more or less continuously until the initial sync is done. If you watch the point of sale video, you saw that we browsed out to the databases folder and watched the sync. We could do the same thing. The only difference would be we would browse out to see ORS Osprey Mobile databases. Once this initial sync is done, we can go ahead and start up Osprey Mobile. Okay, as we can see, the syncing has pretty much stopped. <clears throat> You'll see the icon pop up here and there as it checks for new data, but basically we're all synced, so I'm going to go ahead and start mobile. Again, the first time I run it, I'm going to run it as an administrator so I can create the entry point in the event viewer. It's going to go ahead and do the typical web client, see if there's any updates, and then go ahead and launch the application. As you can see, we have our splash screen and our login. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Again, with login of one. From here, I can run any of the apps that I have permission to. In my case, we're going to go ahead and go into POS just to make sure everything's working. Go ahead and ring up a couple of items. Tender the sale. Go with cash and we'll go with $75. My change. Transaction is complete. So, as you can see, point of sale is very similar to what we have. Again, most of the changes here in 11.7 are around the um, technology and use, etc., rather than the aesthetics. However, there are plenty of added features. Those will be gone over in a separate series of videos. Um, as far as other functionality, the vast majority of it is similar. Um, you can review the Osprey Mobile 11.499 video to see some of that, as well as there will be future videos highlighting some of the differences in version 11.7100 of Osprey Mobile. Thank you and have a great day.